Hello to all and welcome to Josie K. Tarot's Spiritual Guidance Reading for the day of January 16th of 2023. For this reading, I've been guided to the Witch's Tarot deck by Ellen Dugan, and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. Uh, hold on one second. We had some cards pop out here, so these two jumped out simultaneously with one another. Uh, this is the realization of the emperor, okay? Whether that's Aries energy or not, this is uh, dealing with someone in a leadership position, maybe via an organization and spirit saying that path, thank goodness, is coming to an end. In other cases, there could be someone here who's dealing with just business and family, and there's not a lot of emotion and that could be what has been conflicting someone here in the area of thoughts being represented by the sword energy. In the thoughts position, we have this beautiful high priestess energy. So male or female in the thoughts position here uh, on January 16th is this ability to observe, uh, to continue to create for yourself as you observe another or others here and not taking any form of action until you have the clarity that spirit is trying to bring you. So we have in the relationship sector of the circle spread, the three of pentacles. There is someone here who is going to be or has been waiting for an answer regarding someone in a leadership position, manager, supervisor, business owner, CEO. And the three of pentacles has been showing up quite a bit where there is a coming together, working and supporting one another in the area of money. So I feel like with this person writing down and thinking about money, uh, this could be a call to update your CV or resume, ask for additional training uh, or something in the area of career, knowing that eventually the answers that you desire are coming your way. And when I said that, I didn't even see that in the creative aspects position of the circle spread here, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So in some cases, the money offer opportunity or abundance that you desire uh, is going to come into your direction if you, uh, with the three of pentacles, put out three CVs, resumes, and so on. Now, there could be someone who is unsure of a masculine that is a bit closed off here, whether or not they're going to come your way in the area of relationship. And when the Knight of Pentacles shows up, whether it is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn or not, this is someone who's kind of dragging their feet, right? They like to kind of research a situation for a period of time before opening their heart. Okay, so wow, we've got the tower in the actions position. Now, should this have been the major arcan of the death card, this is the realization that something is ending or is coming to an end. But when the tower shows up, this is an energy outside of ourselves where we come to the realization here. Maybe that someone got stabbed in the back. Someone said something about you. Therefore, you're thinking about moving on from a person or group of people. So if you are looking in new directions, we have this beautiful Six of Pentacles energy, great fulfillment in the emotional aspects position of the circle spread, the realization of abundance coming your way rather unexpectedly. Now, I've just gotten some messages and emails. Uh, even you'll see in the comments section, someone received an offer that they didn't expect, and now they're rising into this high priestess energy of, okay, what's next? I'm receiving the offer I've been waiting for, and oh my gosh, I didn't even see it coming. Beautiful. Now, again, I have to say with the pentacles energy, if you are connecting with someone who's dragging their feet in the relationship sector, the six of uh, pentacles energy is also a message to just kind of observe a situation. And again, without taking action, following your intuition and waiting for this person to step forward, right? Uh, leave the ball in their court for now, January 16th of 2023. Now in the subconscious position, we have this beautiful major arcana in the form of the strength card, this Leo type energy, uh, the strength to come together and see if there is a balanced connection offer or opportunity here for you instead of sitting in this energy of maybe stagnancy. Use the emperor energy spirit saying to become the leader of your path. 
uh, a path that uh, has served its purpose that was maybe painful for some, that is ending so that uh, new exciting beginnings and strength can come back into your life path journey. So day to day we have the Four of Swords. Another very common card. This is a message of, wow, I put a lot of time and effort into these battles or this battle and now I am taking my final sword and I'm thinking about should I continue or should I just cut away from the situation altogether. So there's this moment of pause and reflection while you decipher what someone else is going to do here on the 16th of January. So in the inner strengths position, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the realization that this path has served me in a very good way with these flowers blooming here and spirits just saying remember that perspective uh, don't uh, be in conflict or worry about where spirits trying to guide you trust in prayer that you have outgrown a particular business uh, situation for some and now boom you'll know that that is a fact because of an offer that is coming your way unexpectedly that makes you feel more strong and able in some cases to cut away from an old person in a leadership position, Aries type energy, someone who's not really open to love at this time. And that could just be also in a relationship, kind of observing a situation because someone has been kind of difficult and they're kind of closed off. Um, yeah, you've outgrown this type of situation behavior circumstance and now you're evolving with that high priestess energy able to observe in this energy of calm and strength in a three card summary with the same which is tarot deck we have the ace of wands the death card and the four of wands oh my so we have at the beginning of the day a realization that someone here should not be trusted with the Seven of Swords energy or this is you sneaking into the direction of a beautiful new offer. The realization of a new path that you have grown and evolved and now Spirit is offering you this gift of a passionate and exciting new direction. Wands sometimes representing business could be home or family. So we do have the moon here, a little bit of confusion, feeling cold, closed off, unsure, worrying about money. Now, Spirit's saying don't do that, right? Trust in prayer because if you do that, you will darken your aura and repel the quickness of what Spirit is trying to bring your way, right? Uh, you could slow down this Knight of Pentacles energies when it comes to what you want to create next. So yeah, Spirit saying give yourself a pat on the back with the Seven of Pentacles energies. Lots of sevens in a number seven year of 2023. Your efforts are leading you into the direction of triumph. You just need to get out of your own way. If you are unsure, use the High Priestess energy in your thoughts to say, I trust that Spirit is going to bring me the answers I am seeking and will lead me beyond uh, indecision about what action steps to take at this time. I do see wishes coming true in the area of marriage, passion, um, but I don't feel like something has grown uh, to a point in the relationship yet for some form of single energy out there. So we do have the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, exciting communication that's bringing the collective many into this beautiful Nine of Pentacles energies, the realization of, oh my gosh, should I accept this offer? Not sleeping at night, feeling stuck or trapped, giving birth to the realization of the right direction. And so here we have Spirit saying, we're going to help you not only to uh, bring something to an end, but to acknowledge the fact that Spirit assisted you with one ending so that a new beginning could start. Okay, so there's this beautiful, and these are two major arcanas, okay? I'm feeling like by midday, uh, someone here is going to know a new path of victory is opening up for you, which may involve traveling to somewhere else or to meet up even virtually with someone here. So we have you, uh, the collective, uh, with another two major arcanas, big moments happening, okay? You have the ability, all that knowledge and wisdom and power, right? Uh, earth, water, fire, air, to bring something to a successful completion so a beautiful new doorway can begin. And in some cases, and I'm getting air type energy for some, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, especially with the Four of Swords day to day, uh, if someone's walking in shadow energy, not being truthful, honest, uh, addicted to, or maybe this is you, uh, 
a person, place, circumstance, situation, or substance, there is this realization of a new path of success whereby you will be able to apply your intellect and get to the truth of a situation. So some are really looking at the King of Wands energies, uh, could be Fire, Sagittarius, or Leo, but someone in a leadership position and is saying, is this the direction I should go? Now, it could be into the direction of a passionate masculine. If you're single, I've been saying, if you step into a new path in the area of creativity, finance, career, it's in that new direction where there will be communication from a soulmate. So like the Wheel of Fortune is helping those who trust in spirit that they're going to help with these two major arcanas to make a wish come true with that Aquarius energy of the star. I'm seeing passionate energy, passionate feminine. I'm seeing water energy. Uh, should I stay or go? Uh, I'm conflicted about this offer, but spirit is saying, you know, ask the questions you need and trust uh, that your hard work and efforts have led you to this point. And on the 16th, this is just kind of a time to pause and reflect as this information slowly works its direction towards you because here's what's coming. And some by the end of the day, some maybe on the 17th, we'll see, are going to be celebrating with others uh, some form of accomplishment and uh, or uh, discussing in some cases marriage commitment partnership. There's like all of a sudden the realization that you've outgrown a person, place, circumstance, situation, and now you're being guided into the direction of a beautiful and happy foundation, right? I'm feeling financially um, and so there is this realization that, wow, my ship came in and now I can be freed from heartache, sadness, worry, fear, and so on. Yeah, Spirit's saying if you cry over spilt milk, you may miss this opportunity if you don't put the effort in to seek out uh, what Spirit's trying to bring your way. Uh, you may uh, miss the opportunity indecision about two one job financial situation material direction and the other spirit saying definitely it's time to leave troubled waters behind and go into the direction of success you've worked hard in your life and now it's time for beautiful new doorways to open up for you that will make you a stronger soul okay so i'm going to confirm and clarify with the lenormand deck by Jiro marchetti so, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed in this circle spread for January 16th of 2023. Yeah, business, organization, someone in a leadership position. This uh, path may have been long and difficult or there's just this realization that this path is ending because of some form of communication, maybe with someone else who's in a leadership position. And so there may be a little bit of indecision uh, in the first part of the day of January 16th, but Spirit saying we're helping you to be freed from whatever burdens are in your thoughts and trust that you have the high priestess energy. You are setting and meeting goals and all you need to do is sit back and watch for the signs via your intuition. Eventually you will know what action steps to take. So in relation to another or others, there's this researching of an opportunity to rise above into a better paying position, the realization of your projects, your ideas, or what is it, whatever it is that you have been giving birth to. Yep, see, someone's coming in here uh, in relation to career finance, things of the material, to bring this beautiful energy of the anchor. So we got stability and security is being created in the relation to a business or organization. Free yourself of the burdens of indecision and keep on putting one foot in front of the other. Because Spirit's trying to guide this Knight of Pentacles into your direction to bring you stability. So we have, in many cases, I've already heard, thank you guys for letting me know that the messages have resonated, that you have created uh, kind words, messages, offers, opportunities, communication, uh, and so on uh, for yourself because you took the effort, right, to get out there and see what else could be on offer for you. So unexpected kind words, messages, flowers, gifts, invitations, and the strength 
to say, wow, you know, I've come a long way and now I'm going to kind of step away from the journey I've been with in, uh, in the area of business and go into the direction of this beautiful offer. So there's really just a call for patience today on January 16th to wait for that offer, that opportunity to come to you. Free your mind from whatever chaos you might cause for yourself. Trust that unexpected messages have or will come in that are going to help you to receive a greater amount, uh, amount of money and abundance. So, strength card. Roll the dice. Spirit's giving the collective the strength to roll the dice and take a risk and seek the journey ahead that spirit's trying to get you to discover but see this is what's getting in the way is day to day we have the mountain energies uh this could be a situation that's at a distance this could be a situation where you're just focusing on the obstacles and challenges of life you're not looking at the path ahead as an exciting new adventure we can start today going through this mountain and trying different avenues, knowing that there will be a blessing on the other side. So if you're thinking about uh, giving up in some way, uh, I'm feeling the swords representing as well business, business, uh, company, a company, uh, spirit saying don't give up. Keep on keeping on for a little bit longer here because this is what's coming. Oh my goodness. We got a lot of things to talk about. So, Spirit saying we're giving the collective the strength of the Seven of Wands to rise above one circumstance situation and to go quickly and unexpectedly into a new direction. Trust and have hope that a commitment, partnership, or contract regarding a building organization is coming your way. In some cases, you may be conflicted about a masculine here. And Spirit saying, trust that uh, as you release the focus of obstacles and challenges, there is going to come an, an unexpected commitment with someone. So someone here is just a little bit unsure of, is this a balanced connection? And Spirit's saying, roll the dice and know that we're giving you the strength to await the answers. Uh, we are trying to guide you, Spirit saying, into the highest, best path of commitment, partnerships, contracts, marriages, and so on. Feeling conflicted. See, should I or should I not take action to free myself from the cage? We are never stuck or trapped on this earth. We can move in any direction we so choose, whatever moment we cho choose to do so. We have wishes coming true and the realization that now one can sweep away from the obstacles and challenges of their lives and travel into the direction of a new home, location. Sneaking away from what is divinely timed. Needing to let go and bring an end to a soul connection or situation that no longer serves the collective on the 16th. Spirit is bringing clarity amongst the confusion and a realization of one path, direction, or another. Or this is what the collective is thinking about on the 16th. A leadership position or the connection of uh, or to where there will be paperwork. Okay, now I do feel like there are there's like this very open-hearted energy where someone is uh, hoping to communicate. With someone who is a passionate masculine now this could be someone who's very passionate about the work that they do but regardless spirit saying on the 16th with the magnifying glass to look a little bit closer keep on keeping on because eventually you're going to recognize this beautiful magical golden bridge is going to bridge you into the direction of a wish come true a conversation will come from someone who's either at a distance or who may have been acting distant there's contemplation about the devotion of a situation that may involve a child or children, and there's a whole lot of fear here. So again, Spirit saying, meet up, even if it's only virtually, and research the highest, best path for yourself. There may be someone trying to decide between one or two people on January 16th. All right, so we have, uh, yeah, I was connecting out with people via community, society, social media, technology, and now, uh, or when, yes, I feel like now I can bring a quick and swift ending uh, to the state of confusion about which direction my life is going to go towards next. So money, 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 uh, in the four leaf clover energy spirit saying we're going to bring you some wisdom and knowledge about a new direction in the area of money. Uh, and when you receive this wisdom and knowledge, I feel even a reason to celebrate with others. There's going to come some form of anxiety here. So that's what the burden of the mountain is, right? Uh, spirit saying just get excited 
about what is developing before you because it is time for a new path and it's in this exciting new direction where you will start to receive an additional attention and recognition of sorts. So just ground yourself today as you set and meet goals, trusting and watching for signs when the compass shows up that spirit is trying to guide you into this beautiful direction where there will be growth in the area of business, home, and family, where someone here can go away from a situation or person that's just too painful. All right, so I'm going to close with a message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue for January 16th of 2023. Overall spiritual message, please. So we have the helper of abundance here. Although you may feel like you have a lot to do, it's important that you organize this process. Once your planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help you out. And there's that four leaf clover spirit saying we're guiding you to find it. And when you pluck it out, uh, you can come out of this energy of indecision because spirit is bringing you some insight here. Trust that your intuition will be very accurate on the 16th and that your own personal spiritual guidance is now going to lead you into the right direction. There's going to be a realization for some by the end of the day that your hard work has uh, helped you to create beautiful things, uh, accomplishments, and even relationships in your life. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you and or you would just like your own personal uh, energy read, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the Winter Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. That is a one-month reading as well. I want to say a big thank you to those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed. To those of you who have donated via the Zoomcast on Wednesdays and or the live YouTube podcast on Thursdays. Thank you so very much for those donations as well. Take care and God bless.